Today I'm going to show you guys how to fully level up your Ancient Hero's Aspect Armor, which will get you up to 84 defense, which is insane. So first thing you need to know is in order to get this armor, you have to find and beat all 152 shrines. And that's a little bit of a grind, but once you do that, we can start to upgrade. And that's when this armor really becomes worth it. And as you can see here, the first upgrade goes straight from 12 to 21, which is huge. And you're going to need 9 Silver Bokoblin Horns, 9 Hynix Guts, and 15 Zonanite. Now the 15 Zonanite are easy, but I'm going to show you guys a guaranteed way to get Silver Bokoblin Horns and Hynix Guts. So almost all my monster parts came from the depths because there's a guaranteed silver of what you need in each coliseum so for the bokoblins you want to go down to the far southeast side of the map the even tide island and then go through this chasm so this is called the lone island coliseum go inside it's going to close up and then you can start fighting these guys there's normally like five rounds normally the fourth or fifth round is where you get your silver they're just going to wax these guys all right and so fourth round this is our silver we're going to go up piece this dude up there's another round with a bunch of them, but you don't need to stay. You just need to get what you need. You can see there we got the silver Bokoblin horn. Now, if you still have the dupe glitches from 1.1.1, you can do this fairly easy. There is a new dupe glitch in 1.1.2. That's not that bad. Or you can come down here, get a couple of silver Bokoblin horns, wait for another blood moon, and then come back down. And that's how you would get your nine. Next up is the Hynix guts. And for that, you can warp to this shrine, which is just south of Hyrule Field Skyview Tower, and then go in this chasm. And what you'll notice is that each of these shrines correspond to a light route, and their names are just backwards. So if you need to navigate in the depths, go to a shrine, go down to the depths, and then place a pin there. And there's going to be a light route there. So you can travel that way. And so I marked it here on this map. This is where the Hynix is that I'm going for because it's in between these three light routes. And I was able to navigate by using these three shrines. So I have it marked on my map and here he is sleeping. And there's tons of these everywhere. You might already have what you need, but if not, there's a lot in the depths. But yeah, you can wax this guy, get what you need. Now, sometimes they won't drop what you need. And in that case, throw down a hard save before you even fight him. I think you have a better chance of getting the guts from a higher level Hynix, but you still should be able to get it from that one. Just hard save. If you don't get it, reload, fight him again. And so for the second level you see it goes from 21 to 36 you need nine silver moblin horns nine frox guts and 10 large zonanite again 10 large zonanite should be fine and i'll show you how to get the silver moblin horns and the frox guts okay and for the silver moblin horns we're going to be doing the same thing you want to go to death mountain and go in the chasm in the middle and you can see here the scorching coliseum is northwest from that but if you track it with the shrines you should be able to light up this area just enough to see it and get to it once you get here you're going to want to have your flame breaker armor on coliseum entrance is on this side and the fourth wave is where you're going to get that silver moblin horn now for the frox if you want to drop right on top of one go to east akala plains chasm just warp to the ori mountain skyview tower once you get up in the air just dive straight down in there and once you land he's going to be right in front of you as you can see by the bright bloom seeds, I already killed this dude. So I got a blood moon right after so Oh my gosh! So I got a blood moon right after saying that, but here this bad boy is. The harder version of the frox, or the blue-white frox, be found in the southeast portion of the depths right here. So again, if you go with the corresponding shrine, go down to the depths, and then go three blocks over and one block down, and you should be able to find it. Okay, so for the third star, it goes from 36 to 54. Here you'll need nine silver Lizzlefoes horns, nine Mulduga guts, and 15 large zonanite. Obviously, the Mulduga guts are going to be in Garuda Valley, but I'm going to show you where I found one. And the silver Lizzlefoes horns are going to be in the depths again. So the Mulduga I found is right here in Taruma Dunes. You can see he's right here, and he's, I think he's mad at me. My six skateboarding moves. There he is. I just beat him up and take his guts. So the Lizzlefoes are located in this Coliseum right here. The closest light route is south, and it's this one, but you can't go straight up to it. You have to go all the way around here. The easiest way I found is by marking a path on your map like this. Here, 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 and then down to here. And then when you go into the depths, just follow each of those colors until you get to it. And again, fourth wave is when you'll get your silver. And as you can see, this is also in the southeast corner of the map. And now you can see the last level is 54 to 84. And this is going to give you the best defense in the game. And for this, you need nine silver Lionel Saber Horns, nine silver Lionel Mace Horns, and nine Gliok Guts. And I'm going to show you how to get those as well. That is nice. And for the Gliok Guts, again, in the southeast corner of the map, there's this island right here. What I did was warp here, and then I got out my bike. And I started making my way there. And I know there's some in other locations, but this is a King Gliok, and the fighting conditions are favorable. It's just you and him on an island. And there he is. Now kill him and take his guts. And then for those silver Lionels, we're going back to the depths, and this time to the floating Coliseum. So if you go to this chasm, mark this shrine, you should be able to find it in the depths to light up this area. And then it's just about walking over to the floating Coliseum. Here's about where it is zoomed out. All right, we're right over top of it. And if it's dark, don't hesitate to shoot a couple giant bright bloom seeds. All right, so remember, the fourth wave is when you're going to get your silver Lionel. But I want to show you guys what this armor does now that it's all the way leveled up. Right, let me get hit by this guy. All right, that was one heart. It also has a set bonus of Master Sword Beam Up. Yeah, kill those guys, take their stuff, and then you get armor that has 84 defense. 